Hello, everyone. I know I'm the only one who thinks that he's slept between this and drinks later, so I hope to make it worth it. Uh, so I flew from Portland, Oregon, and I brought these handcrafted artisanal slides that I draw on a plane. I hope you'll enjoy them. Uh, my, I want to talk about IPDF, or Interplanetary Data Feed. Uh, this is a project that I've been working on, and it's been inspired by a bunch of other projects uh, that are doing similar things. Most of them are actually here. So please listen to me and come engage with me later and tell me how I'm wrong. So they all have their uh, values and trade-offs. I decide to make my own trade-offs and have my own values, and I'll try to explain what they are. Um, so basically, well, IPFS is really great for study content, but I really want to version data. If you ever felt like, oh, I just wish this stuff was in the Git so I could go through the changelog, this is kind of what I want all the data to be like. So essentially, let's version everything that matters. And I would tell that this is, this is a blockchain with the fastest consensus algorithm. And the reason being because authority who owns the key is the only one who takes decisions. So you just follow the author and you got a consensus. Um, it tries to distinguish between what the feed is and what the name of the feed is. And the reason being you might have a different names and different frequencies that we do publish updates. Or maybe sometimes you give an immutable pointer to some history of the data, but not for the, all the updates. And one thing they try to do differently is to have a different, uh, more granular access control. Um, so there are three different roles. There's the authors that signs all the blocks and are verifiable. Uh, there's the replicators who essentially act as a mirror. They can replicate data. They can look at the blob and make sense, but they can't make sense of it. They can just follow the graph. And there are recipients, uh, actors who are, who are messages are addressed to, and they can go and get the blobs and make sense of them. So if you're a stranger and you look at the IPNS record, it looks like a blob that was signed with something, doesn't really make much sense. Uh, however, if I shared you, with you the replicator key, then you actually can make some sense out of this data. You can go look at the record that points to some things that looks like a linked list graph uh, that with a pointer to IPFS blobs, but they, again, like, don't really make sense. You see the signatures, however. You can audit that the author made all of those changes, and they're versioned. Finally, if you happen to be a recipient, then you can walk the same graph. You can look into the keys that have been also attached there and encrypted with the recipient key, and that gives you a key to get those sweet blobs that have been stored on IPFS. And finally, if you're an author, then you can go and build those blocks, sign those blocks, encrypt them, and it takes care of most of the things so you don't have to deal with it. So if you open questions, so I just threw them here. I would be happy to discuss them with you if you engage me afterwards or on internet. So that's it. Thank you. Let's have fun.